I'm graduating on June 15th, um, at 10 to 12. My family's flying over from Calgary, so um, that's it's all happening. <laughs> I grew up in China. I was six when we moved to Canada. I actually didn't speak a word of English. <laughs> Today I speak five languages. I remember looking at the English letters for the first time and I thought, this is such a simple language. <laughs> and I was so wrong. <laughs> uh, at U of T I studied global health and immunology. I got into my first international uh, abroad opportunity right after my first year. My most recent international experience would be with the REACH project. Our team narrowed in on the Tunisia case because uh, we came across reports uh, about uh, rudimentary housing within the country being at a level of 0.9% and so that caught our eye initially as, as, as a case of reaching the hardest to reach. My international experiences have really emphasized me above all people are more similar than they are different. I think it starts with um, being in the context that people live in, um, breathing the same air, sharing a meal, um, finding our commonalities, um, and, and, and really diving deep in, into understanding each other. I think I'm gonna miss university a lot. I think it's really taught me a lot about being a participant in my life rather than being a spectator, of taking action uh, when, I, when I see something that is wrong, of being engaged in the community that I'm in. And I think it's those lessons that I'll be carrying forward for the rest of my life, those lessons that I learned at the University of Toronto.